everyone. In this video, we will take a look at the serverless workflow Visual Studio Code extension. Serverless workflow is a CNCF specification that defines a declarative workflow model, and you can use it to orchestrate event-driven and serverless applications on both cloud and container platforms. The website for serverless workflow specification is serverlessworkflow.io. If you come here, you can go to the GitHub link. This will open up the GitHub repository for a serverless workflow specification under which you can find a project called VS Code extension. You can click on that. Here you can find all the sources of the extension and also a description. The features of the extension are uh, code hints and code snippets for both JSON and YAML format that um, correspond to the definition of the serverless workflow JSON schema definition. Um, another thing you can do is generate an SVG diagram uh, from your JSON or YAML source or workflow model. And once you've generated that, you can export uh, the generated SVG diagram also uh, as a PNG image. So let's take a look what this looks like in Visual Studio Code. Um, if you go in VS Code under extensions, you can type in serverless workflow. Um, this will uh, allow you to find the extension here and you can um, install it straight inside of your uh, VS Code editor. Uh, the latest version is 1.3.0. If you don't have it, go ahead and install it. And if you have an older version, make sure you update to the latest one here. So to show some of its features, here I'm going to create just a test.json file. And for JSON and YAML extensions, um, uh, I mean files, the extension provides uh, code hints. Uh, for example, here I see all the different top-level parameters according to the serverless workflow specification JSON schema that I can uh, use in order to start creating my workflow model. So let's say let's create, um, we're going to create a test workflow uh, with a name test workflow. I'm going to give it a version of 1.0. For the sake of this very simple test, I'm just going to have a single state here and I'm going to give it a name dummy state. I'm going to give it a type of, oops, sorry. Um, here you can see all the different types of states uh, that you can use. In this case, let's do just a simple delay state, which is a state that just stalls the workflow execution for X uh, number of minutes or hours or whatever we define. And my um, time delay is going to be one single minute. Now, in, I also have to say, define a, that this dummy state is also a workflow start state. So we have a start parameter with the kind of, it's a default. And I also have to specify that this particular state is uh, um, the end state of the workflow again, with its kind being uh, default. You see there is different, like you can uh, also um, create an event before the workflow ends and stuff like that. So this is it. So this is my <laughs> very, very simple workflow definition. Once I uh, have done it, I would like to see if visually also makes sense for me. So I'm going to open up the command palette and, and uh, select serverless workflow generate diagram. So once I click on that, uh, the SVG diagram is going to be generated for me and show, shown on, to the right of my uh, workflow model. In this case, we see we have test workflow one, we have a single dummy state, and here underneath you have a legend which includes all the different state types and the border color associated with each. So once I've uh, created my SVG and I can preview it inside the editor, you can also right click on your JSON and YAML file and from the context menu select export diagram to PNG. And once that is uh, clicked, you can see, you will see also a test of PNG generated. Uh, one thing I forgot to say, the generation of uh, preview in the diagram also creates the test of SVG inside, which in, uh, file which includes your SVG sources. So you can share those. And the PNG um, is also uh, exporting to PNG also creates the test.png file. Uh, that includes the PNG image that you can later on uh, share or, or you know, do whatever you would like with it. 
Um, just to show a couple of other examples, uh, I've created like a little sample workflow. This is a little bit bigger workflow, again, in JSON format in this case, it includes more states. So here I can again go uh, generate diagram and this will take the source, generate the SVG and present it to you. In this case, we can see we have a switch state with uh, three conditions, uh, database conditions, and uh, it, you can really use this diagram to visually validate that what you actually uh, wrote in JSON or YAML uh, makes sense to you. The same thing I will show is also for uh, YAML files. This is a different uh, workflow definition from, and you can find all of these in the um, serverless workflow specification GitHub repository under examples. So here I can again generate my diagram and I have my uh, visualization here and just to show you that this is real time so as you're modeling you can keep updating this let's say we need uh, we give it the name job mo my job monitor let's say yeah, something like this workflow and you can save it again generate the diagram and you can see uh, the title changed so as you're modeling your workflows um, in VS code for both JSON and YAML formats you can simply just try to visualize this and see if conceptually um, your workflow definition makes sense to you.